What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. Positive vibes only, crew. Because today I'm being dead serious. We're talking about why in 2019 it is the best time to lift ever. Ever, as Will Smith would say. And I absolutely mean that. I know recently I've been talking about body transformations and nutrition because your boy finally got below 20% body fat. But let's talk about strength today. Why new records are being shattered. New research, I want to talk about chrono nutrition. And as a community, it's percolating up throughout the community. And as a result, it's the best time to get into fitness or dedicate yourself in a lifting journey. When we talk about strength, what's one of the all-time records that we thought would never, not never, but wouldn't be broken for quite some time? I would say Sarachev, Kirill Sarachev, his bench press, I think it was 737 pounds, 738 pounds, fantastic bench press, did it with an excellent pause. I thought no one's going to surpass that. Enter recently in the last two weeks, Julius Maddox, irregular strength. I'm going to link him in the description. 744 pounds. Hit a new all-time record with more gas in the tank. Can you even imagine that? Alex, stop. What? What? Uh, yeah, what's up? Papa must essen. You want to fry. And what do you want me to do about that? Okay, so you want me to promote my own stuff on my own channel? Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Rascal Apparel. We just. We. It's true. We just had to launch. A lot of you guys ask questions. The shirts I'm rocking. Rascal Apparel, my own apparel company. We take time to design every single one. This one right here is a limited edition Peach Boys design. We are a small company, so we have a limited stock, and we do one-time only releases. The Black Friday sale is happening right now. We have over a dozen new designs. So the Hercules design, the Ares design, um, the Achilles design, the Thor design. A lot of different ones the peach boys hoodie one time only releases once they're gone they're gone they're pretty damn popular people ask all the time in the comment section where i get the shirts it's my own company go ahead rascalapparel.com i'm linking that in the description and if you spend over 75 dollars over the next week you also get 10 percent off automatically from your order did i do a good job thank you i mean it sounds delicious Strength. Strength has been increasing by a large margin. And again, we have to keep things real. A lot of these individuals I'm going to be talking about are untested. We know what's up. We know what that means. It's not like drug culture has gotten infinitely better. The Soviets perfected that shit in the 70s and the 80s. So the song remains the same when it comes to that. It's not like there's new drugs coming about that's instantly making these individuals better. There was a theory when it came to gear lifting. And remember, powerlifting back in the day was largely gear lifting for a certain period of time that the gear was getting better, no pun intended, but the suits that they were wearing. So were individuals getting stronger or was the tech just getting better? On the other hand, we can see now with raw lifting, Kayla Woolham, where once again, the deadlift that he did, I know it caused a little bit of controversy, the up and down motion, but I have no doubt he's gonna smash another all-time record very soon, a new all-time record on the 220-pound weight class. Eddie Hall has 500-kilogram suited deadlift record that, once again, we thought, oh, this is impossible. No one's going to break it. I don't know. And so, again, drugs are getting better. They're not necessarily, I would say they're not taking more because, again, there's been competitive athletes for a long period of time. That's one example of that. We can also take a look at the IPF. So that's the Drug Tested Federation where records are being broken constantly. Think like this when I want to talk about the fitness IQ or the possibilities due to increased knowledge, increased competition, more entrance into the marketplace. The year, 1903. You're Eugene Sandow. You're the fucking Mac Daddy, okay? All those individuals, guys, goyles, inanimate objects are fawning over you because you have the best possible physique in 1903 with the knowledge you have armed with the knowledge they didn't even have a bench press they knew next to nothing when it comes to nutrition leaning down macronutrients forget about it right but he got in great shape you can in 2019 if you train long enough hard enough stay hard you can get Eugene Sandow's physique or better as a natural individual. I think a lot of individuals, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I'd say most of you, if you put in the time and effort, can look as good or I'd say better than Eugene Sandow. And some people, comparison can be the thief of joy because they focus on the relative gains as opposed to absolute. So if you can look better than the person looked the best in 1903, in 2019, that's pretty fucking cool. But for some people, they turn into soursops where they think to themselves, oh man, well, I might look okay, but I don't look as good as this person. Comparison is the thief of joy. 
focus instead on the large, I'd say monumental leaps made when it comes to training periodization, where now it's a regular occurrence to see a 180 pound dude dealt with 500 pounds in a commercial gym. 10 years ago, that would be a rare feat. Now we're talking about something that's 200 pounds. It's like, can you deal with 500 pounds? Nah, man, 600 pounds, even beyond that. The standards are not only increasing, but knowledge is percolating into the community, which is why one of the last things I want to talk about, and really it's just an exciting time to be a lifter, I think, and this is me telling all you individuals, because I know, the news. It could be a real bummer. And if you just pay attention to headlines around the world from a variety of different things, things can be pretty negative or you can have a negative perception. But in reality, when it comes to lifting, I think 2019 is the best year. I'm going to have Danny Lennon on. He wrote an article for Stronger by Science all about chrononutrition. So uh, the timing of your nutrition as it relates to circadian rhythms and why that matters. He's going to talk about hormones, all this new research coming about to optimize your body that most of all, hello, because of the internet, is for free. So we have all this great knowledge. So some of the shitty knowledge is going away over time because there's more and more people putting out better information. It's freely available and we have the standards to assess what's truly possible and programs, a lot of free programs out there that you can follow in order to get results. 2019 is the best year for lifting and some of you young cats, that's why I call you young YOLOs. YOLOs, you only live once but you act like you're going to live forever where when I started the fitness journey back in my day, insert OK Boomer, remember the one seven of the teachers just going fucking nuts on the kid. I'm sorry. No, that was so utterly disrespectful. I have never had a student talk to me that way. I know, I did. Are I... you always this stupid or is today a special occasion? Where, when I started lifting, the knowledge wasn't good and there were no standards. It was the Wild West. You didn't know what was possible. But now we know that as a natural individual, achieving great things, I personally would say, are, is definitely achievable. So that should be reassuring for most people, in my opinion. So don't be bitter. Don't be sad. Don't compare yourself to other individuals they have no business comparing yourself to. Reach up and find glory. It is there for you to take strength. Aesthetics, I've been talking about body transformations for a lot, but I want to talk about strength also because it's kind of concrete. We can have subjective standards of aesthetics. Oh, this person looks better than this person. It's true. We could you know, quantify that. You have a lower body fat percentage, but strength is strength, right? If people are breaking records, the tech isn't getting better. People are just getting better. That's pretty fucking cool. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think the next record's going to be that will be broken? What do you think will be absolutely smashed by the next person? Let me know in the comment section below if you want to get some of that apparel. Rascal apparel right here. Limited stock. A lot of it honestly because we waited 36 hours before releasing this video. Some of it's lower in stock. Go ahead. Get yourself some fresh threads. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video and I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.